It's likely that when the outbreak was first identified back in March of 2014, if there had been a rapid and robust response, the outbreak could have been stopped using the three basic strategies that stop outbreaks. And those are patient isolation, contact tracing, and community understanding. In uh, earlier outbreaks, uh, the key measures were isolation of patients. So you had to find the cases in the community by investigating rumors, information which came in from community members, from health facilities in the periphery. The surveillance team would go out and see whether that individual um, corresponded to the case definition. If so, the individual would be taken to the Ebola treatment center and being assessed. And if the doctor there confirmed that uh, the suspicion is really high, the patient would be isolated. And at the same time, a list of contacts of these uh, patients would be drawn up. The contacts would be seen for three weeks on a daily basis, find out whether they fall ill. If they do, they would also be assessed and isolated. If they stay healthy, they've been lucky. Isolation means that the patient is prevented from transmitting the disease to other family and community members. Staff is protected against transmission of the virus from patient to staff. And should the patient die, not survive his disease, the burial also needs to be uh, done under safe conditions and any unprotected contact with the dead body needed to be prevented. So that's the standard way of controlling Ebola or Marburg outbreaks, the same thing. And that's how it was always done and that's what was always successful.